help us to make childhood leukemia a thing of the past. There have been many suggested causes of childhood leukemia, but what we think is the major cause is patterns of infection that are characteristic of developed societies. And paradoxically, we think the problem is not infection, but a lack of infection early in life. The development of leukemia occurs in two discrete steps. The first one occurs when the babies are in the womb, developing fetuses, and there's a mutation there that we think is probably a developmental accident. There's nothing to suggest anything in the outside world is causing that. Only a very small percent of them, about 1%, will go on to get the second mutational step sometime after birth that we believe is triggered by infection. Childhood leukemia is an extraordinary story medically because it's an intrinsically lethal cancer. In the absence of treatment, the cure rate is now around 90%. But the problem is it's traumatic, it's toxic, with long-term consequences for the health of those children. And obviously very difficult for the children themselves, and plus trauma for the families. So I think if you ask any parent, what would you prefer? They'd opt for prevention, and that's my view as well. What all this research points to for me very powerfully is that childhood acute lymphomastic leukemia is probably a preventable disease. We think the way to do this is to give to infants in the first year of life some form of microbial exposure that's benign and safe. So I'm reasonably optimistic in perhaps a five to ten year time frame we'll see this translated into some real benefit. Thank you for your generous support.